after more than a decade of health service reforms, infrastructure improvement and human resource capacity building, the Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho realised part of its goal with the opening up of the state-of-the-art 425-bed hospital in Maseru. We're now joined uh, to talk about the uniqueness of this funding model by Ritva Ranika. She's Director for Human Development for Africa at the World Bank. Ritva, thanks so much um, for your time. Let's talk about this new medical facility in Lesotho, why it's important for the country at this juncture, why the World Bank has gone into a PPP with uh, various private sector partnerships as well. Mm. Thank you. So in Lesotho, really, we have a situation where maternal and child mortality has not budged uh, over the past 15 years. And, um, and the country needs to find new ways of, of addressing these issues and healthcare overall. So uh, we were, I was truly excited to be able to be part party and participate in yeah. the inauguration of the hospital, which is a, pr it's a public hospital, but a private public partnership. Mm -hmm. And the role of the World Bank really was what our comparative advantage is, is uh, global knowledge, yeah. a lot of experiences from other countries. Yeah. That's what we contributed together with our private sector arm, IFC to that project. Advice, how do other countries do the best advice we could provide. But I, I mean, how does this hospital address the medical needs of Lesotho? It's a small country, there's quite a lot of poverty, and interestingly, although the economy has started to pick up, it just hasn't dented the healthcare uh, deficit in the country. Why is that? Uh, what is really interesting in this hospital that uh, it is a public hospital, it is run by a private provider, Netcare, mm. South African mm. provider, and there is a strong partnership between the private and public sector, both building the new hospital, which is, by the way, beautiful, mm. and, uh, and then running it. So it's a public hospital. It's the, and what is really interesting in it, that it, the previous hospital, which is defunct, really, in a bad, bad shape, um, costs about 100 million. This, this new hospital costs the same 100 million mm. to run. So there is no extra cost except the investment cost and yet quality. I, I'm going to talk about the, the relationship between Netcare and the World Bank and mm -hmm. the others. What I need to understand is how big the need is in a country like Lesotho. What are we talking about here in terms of just basic and primary health care that's needed in mm. this country? Uh, of course, they, the country needs the basic primary, the clinics, etc. They, they are all, all over the country. Uh, surely not enough. What this hospital is, it's a referral hospital to the whole country. Mm. It has three clinics attached to it, so it also serves Masero district. And uh, it's also a teaching hospital. Mm. So, and, and basically what is the exciting part of it is that the quality is so much infinitely better yeah. than in the, in the yeah. past one. I think the biggest problem we have is that healthcare, like education, is a public good. It's something that the government should be providing. Mm -hmm. But invariably here, that's not happening. And this is why you've had to step in with various private partners. So what is the costing? Because Netcare comes in, but they're not a charity. Ultimately, as a private hospital, they're going to want to see returns on investment. Mm -hmm. And in a country that has a lot of poverty, people can't afford to pay for private medical mm -hmm. uh, care. So how exactly do you make sense of the mm -hmm. money that's gone into this initiative when effectively it's not really a very commercial um, mm. initiative. Now what is really interesting in in this hospital is that um, the staff who work there and it's the Tsepong uh, consortium that hires the staff they are paid the same as before as in the previous mm. hospital. Uh, the patients they pay the same amount as before. Uh, I was there on Friday and we interviewed a number of patients because the hospital is already running. Yeah. Uh, they said it's 15 rand per three visits, same as in the old hospital. Right. So in a way, what the private sector can contribute is a different set of incentives in the hospital. It is a public hospital. Government is watching very closely what is being done there, what how the service yeah. is, there is independent monitoring, there is regular reporting, etc. But in a way, it's the private sector is just more efficient to actually Manage, deliver, yeah. but it is a public, publicly funded and a public hospital. 
healthcare, how is it funded in Lesotho? Is it a question of government subsidies on that 15 rands uh, administrative fee that each citizen pays? Yes, the government invests quite a bit in healthcare. And actually, the government investment, apart from the investment in the new hospital, which they had to do anyway, mm -hmm. uh, the actual running cost has not changed. It is just that the quality is is now so much better and I think what uh, what really the World Bank's role here is is that we can bring the best knowledge we have on how to structure the PPP because it's not the pu yeah. private public partnership yeah. it's not that every private public partnership necessarily works so well so so in a in a in a way what our input was because we work in all countries and yeah. all continents we brought that knowledge best practice best practice but otherwise it's really negotiated by the government right. and and the private so, so, so sector. This, uh, this probably has a concessioning element to it is there a point in the future where once net care has gotten its return on investment that you hand over the asset fully to the state or is it always going mm -hmm. to work with some kind of a private vendor involved mm -hmm. so the uh, as far as I understand the details, it's really an 18-year um, agreement yes. between the partners. But it is not something like private builds and then transfers to yes. the government. It's not. It's from the start a government hospital, which has been built in consortium with the what private the sector. Yeah. But I think for us, another very important thing is that we really see that this type of model can be quite good in other countries yeah. as well to improve service delivery. Many health systems are not functioning mm. very well. And this kind of uh, yeah. project yeah. can energize, inject something new to improve quality. And it was just fantastic to uh, see some of the patients who were there. Mm. And uh, they, they started, uh, they came in really in the beginning of October. Right. And when they entered the hospital, they said, I already feel better. Yeah. Because everybody wants a nice hospital. Yeah. And why should it only be for rich people? Yeah. Now it is for all. Uh, and it can be afforded. And Ritva, I mean, are you looking at exporting this model into other African countries, your, sort of your priority areas, if at all? Uh, we really, um, I wouldn't like to say exporting necessarily, but we definitely, we work a lot on something we call South-South learning. Yes. So we basically just are a facilitator where developing countries from Latin America, from Africa, from Asia yeah. can come together and really look at good examples. It's not that we say this is exactly, exactly how it should, should be do. done, but here is an excellent model. We have already set up a, a, a framework where uh -huh. we can really have other countries to come and see how it works and get excited.